Hey guys and welcome to my full handbag collection video today. I am so excited to show you everything that I have wasted my money on. It's not going to be a quickie one, so please grab a cup of tea and sit down. There are quite a few bags in this. There's about one, one, two. There are about 20 bags. <laughs> oh, there's one missing. Bear with me a second. Okay, now I have them all. Yes. So, so let's get straight into the bags. At the end of the video, I'll tell you more about why I've got so many, whether I sell my bags, which is quite apparent I don't. I'm not gonna go into the features of each bag as we go through, just because we'll be here all day. And also I will do in-depth reviews on each bag because that's what this channel's about. It's all about the bags. So in no particular order, let's start with my Chanel Trendy CC in the size small. The black lambskin leather with the champagne hardware. I had to order this in last season because I wanted it in the black and the only one they had in the store was the brown. They do do it in different sizes and I think this season's colour is purple which is really cute. But when I was in the Rue Cambon store recently they had all kind of longer ones and taller ones, silver hardware ones. So if you like this bag there are loads of variations. But I really really love it. I think it's so pretty and I love this strap. I just think it's amazing. I'll open it up and just show you inside. Inside you have the lovely CC and your one, two, three pockets. So it's a beautiful bag and it's got the pocket on the back. This will be one of the bags that I review in the next couple of weeks because I love it so much. I think it's so beautiful. So I could do a whole video on it and I will do a whole video on this bag very shortly in the next couple of weeks. So what I would say about this bag is when I go out for drinks with it, I have a couple of different options available to me because there's no way I'm putting this on the floor. It has no feet and I'm so sure this would damage really easily. It's all about the base. So the options are put it on the table in front of you where it feels like you're making a point that look at my Chanel, which is sure to endear you to people. Or put it on the chair next to you like you've somehow thought it was a person or put it on your knee like you think it's your child. So whatever way I put this bag down, I always look like a crazy person, but you can pick which sort of crazy you want to be. For me, I tend to put it on my knee most of the time, or most of my friends and family know that I'm nuts about handbags. And so when I put it on the table, they go, okay. But it is a bit annoying that you can't put it on the floor. And I think little feet would have made a really big difference to this bag. That's bag number one. So yes, there will be a full review coming shortly. So if you have any questions about the bag, please put them in the comments down below. And I'll make sure I address that. I just love the pocket on the back. It's so pretty, so yes. I really struggle to get past filming this one bag. Okay. Next up we have my Givenchy Antigona in the purple and it's in the goat skin so it's kind of grained and it's beautiful and I think this is the medium size. It has the silver hardware, it has this strap which is kind of just a shoulder strap. I do really like this bag. I think it's very much a structured speedy and the mouth is so big. I've got loads of junk in there at the moment. Hmm. So I sometimes use this as a work bag just because you can see everything that you want inside of it. You can get quite a lot of stuff in here because it's so big and I find this strap really handy. A big feature of the Antigona is this big chunky zip which is just beautiful and it makes the bag so accessible. The lining's just kind of, the lining is just this very plain kind of material. I don't actually know what that is. You've got a zip pocket and two pouches inside. It's okay. This was last Christmas's seasonal colour and oh I just think it's so pretty. I have loads of purple accessories which go with this and it looks really nice. My main problem I would say with the bag is that if I fill it, which I regularly do, it's very it's very heavy to carry by the top handles and I tend to like to carry it like that if I can. So what I tend to end up doing is carrying it on this long strap which has these funky little bits that do nothing <laughs> just on the straps here and I tend to carry it like so but the problem is you can see where the handles are here right on my boot um, if I put my arm there I feel like I'm crushing the bag into my side and I do worry that I'm going to mal shake when I carry it maybe that's just my own paranoia and I do regularly look at the side to see if the side is flattening out compared to the other which I think it is slightly and this is one of those bags which I was going to say oh I don't use it that often but as I knew I was gearing up to do my collection video today I kind of got all my bags out to have a look through them and I've suddenly started carrying this all this week because it is such a good bag and it's beautiful and it's understated and yeah I really like it. This colour was really hard to get hold of as well. I think it sold out in New York in this size, it sold out in the UK and I actually got mine in Paris. So yes, beautiful, love it. I'll be using this a lot more over the next couple of months. 
So yeah, as I said, this is no particular order. My next bag is my Chanel Wok, and this is the Camellia Wok in lambskin with the silver hardware. My husband bought me this as a surprise on our wedding day. I had been looking in Chanel with my husband a couple of times. I didn't realize that he was picking out a wedding present for me. Initially, I was going to get a GST, which I'm kind of sad I didn't now because they don't sell them anymore, but it didn't feel right on my shoulder. Because it is kind of a sentimental piece, I don't use it anywhere near as much as I should. I'm really nervous with the lambskin because I really don't want to scratch it, just given that it is my wedding gift. Inside you've got your little love pocket up here and then it's kind of like a silver which I think is really beautiful and you've got your lovely long chain. So it's a really heavy chain, it feels like a quality chain, it's beautiful. I tend to use this when we go to events. It's very much what I use when I don't want to have a bag with me, so like going to a ball or an event, uh, I will take this. It's got loads of pockets on the front, I'm not going to go through all of them. I did a video a very long time ago, which I probably ignore now, <laughs> which unboxes this falsely uh, and shows you all the features of it so you can check out that if you want to know more but it is a beautiful piece I think a wok is really classic very versatile because you can carry it with the strap doubled over or singularly so it's crossbody long shoulder or it's just a clutch and I think it's so pretty I really do like the simplicity of a wok I think they're so beautiful and I'm really glad that I've got this one um, so yeah that's my wok Next up we have this bag which is too shiny under these lights, it doesn't usually look this shiny but this is the PM Alma bag in the Vernie leather in the Amaranth colour and I really do love this bag. I really wanted this bag because it is a classic and I really like the Alma shape though I couldn't work out if it was just a little bit old ladyish. I'm not gonna lie and I couldn't work out if I loved the Vernie or just thought it was really tacky <laughs> but I went and got the bag anyway and you know what? I really do enjoy using it. It's one of those bags that when I take it out I'm really conscious of it for the full day because it is a top handle only bag and I just think it's quite a statement piece without being too loud because of the darker colour I think it's quite elegant um I don't I don't know it is one of those bags that I've looked at and gone is it trashy or is it great and so I got this bag in Switzerland earlier this year when I went skiing with friends and I had intended to get this exact bag so I was very happy that I could and I do love how shiny the hardware is on it and I love the colour, I just love the colour. The more I saw them on people when I was out and about, I'd always go, oh, that looks nice, or oh, I, I wish I had that bag. So I decided to get it, and I don't regret it at all. I do kind of want a, you know, what they called, bag charm. I want one of those connecting bag charms on it. I think it would look really nice. I was told at the time when I bought this not to get a bag charm because it will scratch the vernie, but I've seen so many people with bag charms on them and I do think they look beautiful. I do find that this bag carries an awful lot despite the fact that it's so tapered. You can fit the kitchen sink in here. I like collecting bags. I love Louis Vuitton. I really wanted an Alma, a Speedy and a Neverfull. Do you know, they now put them together on the website as well, which kind of solidifies it in my mind that they are a little set. Um, but I really wanted an Alma. I like the Alma BB, I think it's really adorable, but it doesn't hold as much as I would like. And also, on my body shape, I wasn't sure how flattering an Alma BB was, whereas this, I think, is a lovely size for me. I would say you can get the longer straps for them. Um, I tried a longer strap on it and it didn't really suit me and it, I kind of found it a little awkward but I have seen people who put different straps on and they look really nice so that is an option you do have the rings on here to have a longer strap on it but for me personally I think the bag as is is absolutely fine and I love carrying it as a top handle I don't feel that I can fill it to the point where it's uncomfortable to carry which is nice as well this is definitely not one of my most used bags but it's one of those bags that I go through phases where I just really like taking it out this is one of those bags which I think is really nice particularly when you're having a cold day and you put a big coat on and you put this with the coat it just puts a little bit of shine with your outfit and um, you've got big mouth and loads of room in there you also kind of have your little dusting cloth to just polish it off it does get marked all the time I'm sure you can see marks on it now it marks so easily but I quite like buffing it off that sounded so wrong got the little feet I love the way that looks I think it's so pretty oh I do have the clochette on this side as well I'm sure that's probably the front I don't know both sides look pretty similar to me although when I was in the store she went no 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 that's the front how she knows I have no idea but it's so pretty so that's my Alma. Next up we have my Prada Safiano Lux Tote, which is so malformed, uh, with the double zip, and mine is in the colour Argyll. Uh, this bag I obsessed over for a really long time. I really wanted one. This was a YouTube inspired purchase and I planned to buy it if I passed some exams. And then I realised if I failed the exams, not only would I 
fail the exams, I also wouldn't get the bag. So I bought this before I did the exam in the end, and um, yes, I passed the exam as well, so it was good. So yes, this is the bag. It is in the Safiano leather, which I thought would be really structured and strong, but it sags so badly. And as you can hear, this is full of air paper. It's always been really beautifully stuffed, and yet still, it sags so badly in the corners. So this is, a, this is a bag that I've had tons of use out of. I really like structured formal bags, but it's just been a bit annoying recently that it has sagged so much at the sides. Look, it's all squished. It comes with this little clochette, which you're supposed to put your keys on there and then put them in this hole, but I don't think that's practical. I think it's purely decorative. And inside you've got this big pocket in the middle that's full of air paper there, and the two zip pockets either side, which I don't use because it can malform the bag. And you have these poppers that allow the bag to stretch out into a massive hole. It also comes up with a crossbody strap that attaches on to the little ring here and the little other D-ring here. I also popped it down on my straighteners a while back. There. And it's only very subtly marked because, oh, oh, was it my hot tongues? I can't remember. I put it down on something incredibly hot and it was hot. It's only really lightly marked. So it is good quality, but it's such a shame that it's so malformed. I do find that if I put loads of stuff in this now, it will stretch back out and look really nice. But my favorite thing about this is the color. I love gray bags and yeah, it's so practical because you can carry it as a shoulder bag. It does fit on nicely there and you can carry it as a crook in your arm bag and you've got the long strap as well so this is a beautiful bag to be honest when i first bought this bag i used it absolutely loads and then now i use it ad hoc so i do still get some wear out of it i, I just make sure that i squish it out a little bit you're getting the picture here i love all of them i'd love to give you really different reviews about how i hate this one or it's really annoying but i do love all my bags but they are all quite considered purchases this is probably one of the few bags though that if something happened to it i wouldn't go out and get another one just because i feel like i've been there and done this bag now i don't think i would sell this bag because i would feel too guilty trying to sell somebody something that looks like that even if i told them i'd feel like that wasn't fair this is a bag that i've used for job interviews as a work bag i've used it as a day bag it's just it's really multifunctional and I thoroughly enjoyed it and it has feet. Having feet always makes me like a bag. Next up we have my Gucci flat bag. So this is the Marmont Metalassi porcelain rose bag in the size small. So it's a beautiful colour which is why I got it and it has the heart on the back which I keep trying to make grow on me really really hard. Um, it is a bit juicy control for me I think. I haven't had much use out of this bag yet because I have bought quite a few bags recently so this is a bag that I intend to use quite a lot over the coming months. Uh, I really love the colour and I love wearing this with purples because I think it really sets it off and if I open that up for you you can see inside we have the long chain it's just one big hole. I haven't had that much use out of this bag yet just because this is kind of a downtime bag you know this is when you just go shopping and over the past couple of weeks me and Mark have been insanely busy there's been so much going on and I've always needed my diary so this bag does still look as good as new and that is because it has been hardly used and I need some more casual time we need some downtime I think me and Mark so yeah we're going to that's when I will be taking this bag out I think this bag looks really nice with my purple coat and it's just a little pop of color on a dark outfit so this is the bag that I constantly come in my dressing room to get because it's the bag that I keep wanting to use. I'm really drawn to it because I love the colour. Colour is referred to as nude in some countries uh, but I like the name Porcelain Rose, I really like it. I won't be reviewing this in the next week or two just because I haven't used it enough. Once I've used it quite a bit then I'm happy to do a review but it's so beautiful. This is the bag that I've most picked up, put on and then just danced around in front of a mirror and put back. Yeah. <laughs> oh and do you know what? A few months ago all I wanted was a bag this size because all my bags seem too big. You can't win. Next up, a bag that needs no introduction. This is my Chanel Jumbo double flap bag from Chanel and it's got the silver hardware and I've loved this bag. This was my first full price luxury purchase and I have used and abused and loved this bag. Now, as you can tell, can you tell? There is a slight sagging in this corner, but it doesn't look too bad. And it's got the big pocket on the back, which I love so much. I just love this pocket. 
Um, yeah, I just, so I saved this bag for about two years and I just adore it. It's my first full press luxury purchase and I felt so physically sick when I bought it that I almost didn't enjoy it, but I totally did. And yes, it's just beautiful. It's in the caviar, which was one of the best decisions I made. Because whilst I don't think the caviar is quite as plush as the lambskin, which is why I then still always wanted a lambskin bag as well, this has been a hardy bag that I feel I can take out to literally anything. I use it as an evening bag, I use it as a day bag, I just use it as my everything bag and I've had so much wear out of it. Maybe it's slightly sagging or maybe it's, I don't know, I can't decide. Um, that is probably the only real sign of wear. It doesn't have feet but the caviar is as tough as anything and oh, I've had so much use out of this bag, I've had so much joy out of it. I think the only time I've actually closed this flap was when I was making a YouTube video. I've never closed it otherwise and it's just got the pockets inside there. I just love this bag. It's really spacey, really practical. For me, I could never have had a complete handbag collection without owning this bag and yeah, it's made me really happy. When I bought it at the time, I thought, wow, this is so much money. This is ridiculous. I can't believe that I'm spending this much but it has been worth it to me completely and utterly. Next up is my Diorama Long Wallet in the goat skin in the colour Rose Poudre. And it comes with this lovely heavy silver chain strap and it's basically the Dior Wop. It's absolutely gorgeous inside. I got this for a wedding, thoroughly enjoyed using it. Um, it's too big to use as just a wallet, so it will always be a wok or a clutch bag, but I think that's really pretty and I really love the colour, so yes. Just a quickie on that really. The main reason that I got this bag was I wanted a kind of neutral version of a wok as well. So I think between this and my Chanel wok, I'm quite happy with my clutches now. This is my Pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton that I bought two or so weeks ago in Paris at the Champs-Élysées store. I walked in, I asked for one, they gave me one. So simple rather than waiting around in the UK where you can't seem to get one at all. So I really wanted it in the monogram just because I think it's the classic. I wanted the monogram strap that comes with it to attach onto my other bags and as I showed you in my other things that I bought in Paris video uh, I put that on my clutch bags so yes so I've used this a couple of times I prefer to use it without anything at all around this top handle but occasionally I'll put my bandeau on if I think it's going to rain the thing that really drew me to this bag is that it is again the three pocket bag and I just like that for organization reasons I just love how dinky it is and I think it's very neat and I love the lock because it reminds me of the luggage but I don't know what really else to say that hasn't already been covered millions and millions of times other than this is adorable. I really really like it. This is the Pals Clutch bag. I bought this in Paris on my birthday last year just because I wanted a little bag to carry around my uh, passport, some money and my phone and this is a really perfect little size. I love this front little open pocket because it's actually quite tight and secure. Inside it's just one big hole like so but it does have this kind of little dividing pocket there and you have this crossbody strap which is a treated canvas strap which is nice. So I've had loads and loads of use out of this bag. You can also carry it just with the chain as a little shoulder bag as well. This tends to be the bag that you see people wearing in the Louis Vuitton store, the sales assistants, and this strap is non-removable. Mine is with the black leather here, but yes, this is really practical. I would completely recommend, and now they do it with funky colors up here as well. So yeah, I really like the palace line. Next up is my Dior bag. This is the, oh, this is my Lady Dior in the pearlescent grey, it's so beautiful. This will be my next handbag review uh, because I have used this bag absolutely loads. As you can see it's got the little, um, what do they call them, mitzes from Dior? I don't understand the name. Uh, but yeah, mine does tend to have that one on there because I kind of scratched the handle a little bit. Uh, so beautiful bag, love the colour, love the size. This is the old medium. Mine is with this zip at the top which basically means that it's like a lucky dip, whatever you get out of your bag, each time you go in there, you can just see inside. This is actually my crossbody strap. I use my spare Louis Vuitton dust bags to keep my crossbody straps in uh, because, the, because I do think that the leather can be quite delicate and I don't want to damage my strap in the bag. And you can guarantee if you don't take the strap with you when you go out, you will need it. And also to get it through the teeth of this zip, it's kind of handy to put it in a bag. So yes, this will be my next handbag review. It's gorgeous though, isn't it? It's so cute. I've had loads of use out of it because it has feet as well, very practical. And I love the charm. So it's champagne hardware as well. Yeah, beautiful. I love the feel of it. 
But I'm not going to give you too many details about this today because I will be reviewing it very shortly. Next up is my Mazarine. I got this in Cologne with my husband last year after my birthday on my birthday trip. And it's in the Emperor Leather in Noir. And this is the PM size and it is just such a beautiful bag. I think it's really unusual looking. It's not a bag I've ever seen anybody else carrying. You can't get the PM anymore in the UK and you can't get the Noir. I think they only have the medium size available in the cherry and raisin colors. In Europe and in America, you can still get the PM and the MM and they still do it in the noir because I think it's so pretty. I really love this bag. I love the zips. I think that's such a big feature and I love that it looks a little bit different if you do the zips open or closed. And I'm not really paranoid about doing the zips on this bag because the magnet in the middle is so strong that holds it together. That's just what it looks like inside and as you can see it has a crossbody strap that attaches onto here it's just a very plain strap so the emperor bags i think have slightly better hardware than your monogram pieces and the beautiful and shiny bits oh i love it it has feet and <laughs> that should be the theme of this collection does it have feet um so yeah it's just a beautiful piece and yeah it is my favorite bag of the lot it's weird because this is probably the only bag that i didn't plan to buy and when i saw it in the store i thought right that that's exactly what i like it's beautiful my husband loved it it's stunning uh, i need to own that and since i've had it it has been my favorite bag so yeah maybe i need to do that more maybe i just need to save and then go in and go please let that be my price range so I'm not going to do that, I love obsessing. <laughs> but yeah, this is my mazarine, it's gorgeous. Next up we have my Diorama in the Black Onyx in the Micro Canage Metallic Leather. I absolutely love this bag. Again, this is a really well used, well loved bag because this, I was really worried about chipping and flaking of the leather but I haven't had any of that. I love that it's a really light bag. The strap is so practical. It's beautiful. I've used this absolutely loads. I did a really recent review video on this if you want to check that out. And it's got the blue lining, it's so nice. Uh, I would say, as I said in that review video, the sides curve in a lot, so you do lose a lot of space that you think you have. Um, but I do really enjoy using this bag. And it's kind of my funky version of the Chanel flap. I know it's kind of, but flat bags in general, I just think are super practical. And I've used this absolutely loads. Because it is a dark color, the metallic isn't too much. And so I can wear this as a day bag quite comfortably. And I just think it isn't an obviously designer bag. <laughs> I couldn't work out if it was just tacky. It's a bit like my Vernie. When it's a bit shiny or a bit blingy, and I'm like, Argh. despite the fact that when I was younger, all I wanted was shine and blink. Um, on my bag, I'm never sure but I do really like it and I do just like looking at it because the because I think the design on it is quite intricate but it's stunning I love it it's so nice and I'm really happy with this color with the micro canage metallic pattern I just think they're so beautiful together and I'm really surprised this isn't a classic this is kind of a seasonal version of the metallic which I think is a shame because I think the darkness is nice but I have seen some of the other metal I think some of the other metallics are nice too but I just think this is quite a universal metallic if there is such a thing. Next up, I'll do them together. We have my two speedies. This is my size 30 Demier Ben Speedy, and I absolutely love it. And this is my size 25 uh, Monogram Bandolier. So they're both Bandolier bags. I bought them both on the exact same day, and this one has been probably my most used handbag out of the whole collection. The main reason being that it's such a practical, carefree bag. The size is huge. I haven't had to worry about it. If I have to go somewhere, I'm gonna put it in a locker. You can stuff it in. And I've, I've used and abused this bag. I do just love the dark color. I don't think it's very in your face. The best thing I ever did with this bag was getting the organizer for inside. And that's just the bag that I carry to keep the strap in if I take it off. But I've got a red organizer in there which just helps the bag keep its structure so beautifully and actually look like a speedy because for the first couple of years that I had this bag it just always looked too slouchy I think uh, whereas now I really like the shape that it holds but I've loved this bag absolutely loved it it's been everywhere with me when I couldn't be bothered it's been an evening bag I've seen people use these particularly in the 25 as an evening bag but it's a really practical purchase if you want a bag you can use for every occasion oh I've loved it I was never really into crossbody bags before I got this and I've used it so much. The metal has not fared well, like this, this. Don't look how damaged that is. It's had better days, but I have loved this bag so much and I would totally go out and buy it again if I hadn't already got it. It's probably a little bit big on my frame, but 
I don't care. It's been great. This is the Speedy 25. Uh, in one of my last videos, I told you that I don't really use this bag at all. It's practically unpatinaed. I've maybe taken it out two or three times in the whole time that I've owned it. People have asked me whether or not I would consider selling this. I may do. If there's a bag that I'm going to sell in this collection, it will be this one, which is a shame. What I don't want to do is end up selling it and then rebuying it because I wish I hadn't sold it. So I'm going to give myself a little bit more time with it and if I don't use it, then this will be in a bag sale. The reason that I bought this bag is I watched Jerusha Couture's video. She had like a love affair with this bag and I was like, I need that bag in my life too. So that is why I got this exact bag and do you know what? I really, I do think it's beautiful. I've really enjoyed it. Um, just not enough for it to be value for money for me. But I think I may get into using it. So I don't want to sell it just yet. But I, you guys, it will be sold through my channel if I do sell it. But I'm giving myself a couple more weeks with it. And if I don't use it at all, then it will be winging its way to one of you. Um, it is gorgeous. There should be a hashtag Jerusha Couture made me buy it. Yes, I'm a very impressionable YouTuber. This is actually the right side bag for my body size. I'm five foot three. This looks the right size on me. And it is so cute looking at it in the viewfinder now. So I need a little more time. I need a little bit more time. As you can see inside as well, I have my little dust bag for the strap. I specifically asked for these bags to keep the straps in when I go into the store because I knew that I was going to need something to keep the strap. So pristine, look, it's immaculate. It's so, so beautiful and unused. Uh, I will let you guys know, I'll put it on my Instagram and I will put it on my YouTube if this baby's going up for sale. But I would prefer to start using it if I can. But I don't want to be wasteful, so I'll let you know. Oh, just speaking of bags that are sold or otherwise, I haven't ever sold anything out of my collection. However, my Louis Vuitton Crescent bag has become the property of my mother. Uh, she really loved the bag and so she now has that. So that isn't in my collection anymore. That's the only bag to leave the collection thus far. This may be number two, uh, but yeah, that's the only bag you won't see here today. She'll get bored of it eventually, we'll see. The other bag that I have two of is the Neverfull. The first bag that I got was this, the monogram in the GM size. This is again one of my most used purchases ever. I got it in the Pivoni colour. It has got quite a lot of junk in the bottom of here and it's got the little pouch in there as well. I absolutely love this bag. I've had tons of use out of it. I think the thing that really sets this apart from all my other bags is that I can put my laptop in it and oh, I just use it to high heaven. I absolutely love it. This to me is kind of the bag that I always imagined owning from Louis Vuitton and I love the monogram. I know people say it's really garish but I don't care. I really like it and, and I love it with this pink colour inside. The bag has beautifully patinaed over time. I don't ever tend to tuck the sides in to make it smaller because I hate that. I don't think it looks particularly nice but I do find with the GM I get a bit paranoid about... Oh, I do get a bit paranoid about people reaching in the front or back because it is quite big so I don't tend to use it around town if I can avoid it. I've used this for travel, I use this for work, I've used this for all kinds of different things. It's a really practical bag and if you are considering one I would totally get one because they're brilliant. My much more recent purchase is this. This is my MM Neverfull in the Demia Azure and I love this. This is again one of my husband's favourite bags and I got it with the pink lining and uh, the Rose Ballerie. I really love this bag. I think it's so pretty. I've used it loads over summer. I do store it with the leather covered. I just put a dust bag over the leather and so it hasn't patinaed too much. I prefer the Demia Azure without patina because I think it looks nicer. So I'm going to try and preserve this one for as long as possible. Uh, as I said, both of my Neverfulls are the new style Neverfulls that come with the pouch inside with the leather strap that comes with it. That's inside here. And yeah, I get loads of use out of them. They're just really practical. They're just really practical bags. That's a little, look, completely unpatinaed strap. I just think they're so beautiful. So do I want to get the trifecta and have the Demier Aben? I wouldn't say no if somebody gave me one. I don't know if I'll get a Demier Aben as well. I think if I got one, it would be purely to collect a set, which I don't think is value for money for me. I'm quite happy with this. There's no situation where I think, oh, I really want to use my Neverfull, but this isn't appropriate and this one isn't appropriate. So I don't think I'll get a Demier a Ben. Look at the patina contrast as well there. Brand new to old. Look at the colour change, my goodness. So obviously this is the old one. Um, I really love the Demier Azure. I know there's issues with colour transfer and things, but I haven't had any issues whatsoever. And neither has my mother with the Crescent. So 
I would completely recommend these. And I think they're beautiful over summer and it gives you that bag that you can get out for summertime as well. Uh, and I just think it's so nice. Oh, nice. We're nearly there people. Another bag that needs no introduction. This is my Birkin 35 in Togo leather from Hermes with the Palladium hardware. This is my baby. I have used this loads since I got it. I can't put it down. I don't want it out of my eyesight. It's a beautiful bag. I'm thoroughly enjoying using it and I couldn't be happier with it. I don't know if there's any more details you want to know about it today. Um, it's got the lovely hard feet underneath. And inside. Uh, I will do a review video on this in the coming weeks just because I'm also going to get some accessories for with it that I can show you. I am thoroughly enjoying this bag, absolutely loving it. It, oh, I'm really really happy with it. This has completed my collection and made me so happy. It is quite a heavy bag but I haven't had any problems with that. I've taken it out for dinner, I've taken it out shopping, I just, oh I love it. I really love it and it's one of those bags that people come up to me and go, oh I love your handbag. The video is already quite long, I could do a whole video on this and I will. Only three bags left to go, next up we have my Mulberry. So this is my Mulberry Hobo in the large size and it's in this grey colour and this is an absolutely destroyed and battered bag. I've used this bag for years, I got this at 50% off at John Lewis one day out of season, oh yes. And oh, the thing about Mulberry is the quality is so good. You may say, look at how battered it is, but I tell you, you should see what this bag has been through. I use this as my bag when I don't want to use a valuable bag when I'm going out. If I'm going somewhere where I might have to leave my bag or I want a bag that isn't obviously designer because I just carry it that way around. But I absolutely love this bag. I lose so many items in it because it's so huge. But I am looking for a new hobo at the moment just because I think this one has maybe had its day uh, and I've had so much use out of it because it's so comfortable and I like the slouchy style as contrast to everything else. I am going to spar this bag though as a one last ditch attempt to get it into good working condition. So if anyone knows of a good handbag spa, that is where I would like to send this baby. So she's going to be sent off to hopefully look a bit better. If it's still destroyed, then I'll be getting a new hobo. You cannot fault Mulberry's quality. Their leather is amazing. So this was my second ever handbag purchase. And I will show you my first, which again is another Mulberry. I've saved these some at the end because they're battered. It's battered bags only now, I'm afraid. This was my first ever designer handbag purchase. And I got this from the Mulberry outlet in Cheshire Oaks. Ooh. It looks like it dies when I drop it down. Uh, and this is in the Croc Napper leather in the colour Crow's Nest. And it's so beautiful. It's so nice. I really, it may, this maybe wasn't the, my top choice colour or my top choice leather, but I was so happy to own a designer bag for the first time ever. <sighs> I feel like I've done a workout from lifting all these bags up. So this is a beautiful bag. It's really battered though. Look at the corners. Again, I'm really tempted to spa this to see if they can get it into some kind of functional state but I think it may be too far gone to be recoverable. It's just so knackered everywhere. It has been a beautiful bag. It was a well-loved bag when I got it. I used it every single day. It's got the lovely kind of suede lining. It's a gorgeous piece, really nice. It would be such a shame to have to dispose of it and I really hope I don't have to. So I would love to see if I can get it fixed up first. So if anyone knows of a really good handbag spa that can fix the impossible, look at that. I used to love this bag so much. Oh, it's so sad, it's so sad when they look like this. Coming on to the last bag, uh, if you can call it a bag really. It is my gym bag. This is the Keep All 50 from Louis Vuitton in the monogram. And this again is a destroyed bag. Uh, as you can see, this side has patinaed to the darkest color you've ever seen, uh, alongside this side, which is just mucky. So what actually happened with this bag was that, uh, it's full of my gym stuff as well. I had some Clarins face oils in here and they all leaked and they went straight through onto the base of the bag and just completely wrecked that fascetta. And this was the first time I really damaged the bag and I was gutted for about five minutes and then realized that if this is my biggest problem in life, I'm doing well. So as you can see, oh, it's stained there as well. I use this, I go swimming a lot at the gym, I eat at the gym, I throw my bag around, I'm not conscious with it. Um, I do think it looks a bit messy, yes I know. I'm tempted to just darken this side as well so they match, but oh, I'm not sure. I mean every different sort of bad patina is on this bag, it's an absolute mess, but it's my gym bag. And prior to this I use like my Lululemon carry bags as my gym bag, so it just, it's nice to have an actual gym bag, but it's such a shame it's in this state. I did used to use it as a holiday bag, but now I find it a little bit messy for that. Oh look, it's stained there too. When did I get that? 
whoopsie daisies. When I used to use this as a holiday bag, I used to put my laptop in it and it's really uncomfortable to carry. So I don't particularly recommend these for travel if I'm honest. If you're gonna put a laptop in them or something heavy anyway. If it's just full of bulky clothes, they're really good and they fit really nicely on a plane because obviously they're just within the measurements. But for me, I always like my laptop on me when I'm traveling. So this is a bit annoying. Uh, the strap has this like plastic thing on it, but it just cuts into me to be honest. So I tend to just use this for the gym and it's great for that. We have this useless strap here, which is there so you can wrap it around both handles to hold your handles up should you really need that in your life. And I have my luggage tag with my monogram on there. <sighs> It's battered, but it's love. I would like one of these in the Demiette a Ben or in the men's. I love the men's kind of darker pattern. I would love one of those. So that is my collection today. I'm really happy with it. I have no like burning need to go out and buy more bags. For me personally, I've always wanted a Birkin, a Chanel flap, a Dior, a Lady Dior, and a Neverfull and a Speedy. And those for me were kind of the core bags that I've always kind of for and they're kind of the classics from each. There was a question on my Birkin video that I actually really liked, which was like, now you've got the Birkin, what are you going to do next? What's your plan? Are you still going to buy handbags? And the answer is yes, definitely. Things that I've always wanted, and now I have those, I'm really happy, and everything else is just a bonus. Because I wanted these bags for a good few years before I could even start to think about buying one from an outlet, never mind the collection that I have now. So I've got all the bags that I always set out to own. I will be getting more bags because I love them, but the kind of burning need to have the set I've always wanted I've completed that, which is a real sense of achievement for me. I have a day out with Dior next month, which I'm so excited about, and I'll vlog as much as I possibly can for you, because I can't, I don't know how to vlog, because uh, I haven't done a vlog yet, so I'm quite excited to try and do one. So this collection has grown quite a bit over the past year, I am aware of that, and that has been for multiple different reasons, including that we had planned to have a family by now, and that just hasn't happened, and I had this big maternity fund sat there, so I just thought, right, stuff it, let's take the pressure off. And do you know what, I've had a great year and now I'm reaccumulating that fund. Now, now I am. Now I've been shopping more. I have got a few more items that I bought from Hermes uh, that I will do another video on in uh, the next couple of weeks, uh, but they're not bags, so they're different things. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you've any questions, please don't hesitate to pop them down below. Would I sell my bags? There's the odd one that I might consider selling in the future. Ultimately, if I don't enjoy something or I'm not uh, getting a much or I'm not getting much wear out of it, then I should really sell it. So my Speedy 25 is the main bag that I'm thinking about selling at the moment. It's in really good condition. I would be quite happy to sell it, but I want to check that I really need to sell it first because when I last, when I did my last collection video, I was really thinking about selling my pochette, uh, my mini pochette, and I absolutely fell in love with it after that video because I thought, right, I'm going to make an effort to use it, and now I use it every day. So I want to make sure that I'm not going to use it first. Oh, I, I don't want to sell them because I love them. It's sad, isn't it? My plans for future bags, there are one or two that I have my eye on, but at the moment I've just bought such a lot recently. I really want to enjoy that first and I want to do a couple of handbag reviews. Uh, other than the Lady Dior and the Chanel Trendy, those two I'm going to review very soon. Uh, if there's any others you want me to review as well, please let me know. Uh, hopefully I will get my Crisette back one day. We will see what happens with that. Won't we, mother? She doesn't watch these, but that's fine. So yes, um, but yeah, really happy with my collection. Really happy with it. Uh, I hope you haven't found this too boring. It's a very long video today. I tried to make it shorter, but it's impossible. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye. Now I have to put them all back.